welcome to Ghent. This often overlooked town in Europe is a quirky blend of old and new. It has 100 churches, over 400 historical buildings, and it's the largest university town in Flanders. There's a lot to see and do here, so I'm going to break down the top five things to do in Ghent. Number five, go vegetarian for a day. Back in 2009, Ghent declared that every Thursday would be veggie day to promote healthier eating and to reduce the amount of meat consumed. It's resulted in Ghent having the largest number of vegetarian restaurants per capita in all of Europe. So if you're visiting, why not do as the locals do? Number four, wander through the Castle of the Counts. Located in Patterschall, the medieval heart of the city, the Castle of the Counts has been many things since it was built in the 12th century. After the Counts moved out, it became a court, a prison, and even a cotton factory at one time. Today, the Gravenstein, as it's known to the locals, is a museum where visitors can walk through the many halls learn some of the torture techniques used back in the day, climb the spiral staircases, and admire Ghent from above. Number three, check out the street art scene. In stark contrast to Ghent's historic architecture is an incredible street art and graffiti scene. Throughout the city, you'll come across colorful pieces, including works by internationally known Ghent native Roa. The greatest concentration of street art and graffiti can be found along Varenkjarenstraat, or Graffiti Street. Every inch of the narrow alley is covered with tags and images, since this is the only area in the city where artists can legally and freely paint. Number 2. View the city by boat. If your legs need a bit of a rest, hop on a boat and see Ghent from a different perspective. Learn about the city's history and architecture as you cruise your way along the inner city's rivers. Traditional boat tours are offered every day and are available in a number of different languages. And the number one thing to do in Ghent? Admire the adoration of the mystic lamb. Located in the heart of Ghent's historic district is St. Bavos Cathedral, a Gothic-style cathedral that took around 500 years to build. It houses a number of treasured art pieces, including its most prized possession, the world-famous Adoration of the Mystic Lamb. It was painted in 1432 by the Van Eyck brothers and is considered the masterpiece of medieval painting. It consists of 24 panels, one of which has been missing since 1932. So whether you're here for the history, the food, or just to get away from it all, there's a little bit of something for everyone here in Ghent. And I hope you enjoyed these top five things to do Happy travels, everyone. We'll see you soon.